Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick collective update. Um, there is a pool right now for faith. Um, and this is where we have to lend our belief system into things that we can't see. And I feel this pool that keeps dragging us into looking around us and saying things aren't changing. It's desperation almost. And um, this is my pleading to the collective to continue in faith. That if we solely stuck our consciousness in what we see, things would never change. We have to live in the thought process of what can come because that's where all the inventions that we find so spectacular started is this thing is coming. It started in the mind. So here we are in these moments where we want a pool of things in our personal lives and our families and our finances and, and then that can go outward into our neighborhoods, our societies and our world abroad and we're not seeing things changing. All we're seeing is chaos or mediocrity for even and this is leaving us in a very apathetic and desperate state. I feel this inside me even though my best faith has me knowing otherwise. I want to pull some cards. Um, I'm going to pull from the Morgan Greer and um, <clears throat> see um, see what the energies are telling me. On the bottom of the deck. This is that balanced energy that pulls you through. This is that faith. This is that doing the work from within us that helps us drive us forward through whatever we're going through. And that's the that was the underlying energy. This is what I was speaking on. This is the nine of swords. So as you can see in the Morgan Greer, we've got the nine swords and then the wrists are bound. This is the same swords that has kept us in this mental feeling of stuck can cut us free. If this is that this is exactly what this whole was a this whole video is about is the current energy says look around you, your mind says look around you this is just what this is as good as it gets or it's not getting any better but it's that same mental that will cut those um, binds off of us and the star card this is the hope this is the hope that's needed to this is spirit coming through with hope saying that meant this is what's going to change those same swords the same swords that bind us the hope will set us free. That's exactly what I was talking about. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what you can. That for me, the, the, the both energies, the the positive and negative of the four of pentacles, is holding on to what's precious. Learning the difference between, I mean, dude's got one on his head. Like, do we really need to walk around with what we, we feel is like, on our heads? No, we don't. We need to recognize what our needs and our wants are. And this recognition keeps, instead of us walking around with what's important to us on our heads, we can actually hold on to the important things in life. I'm going to pull one more. And there's the fight. This is th that that energy of walking around with what's so important physically on your head will create a lot of fights, not just with yourself but with those around you. So this is definitely 
have hope. This is in the heart space. This is the outcome. So in the outcome space, possible outcome, we all have free will. It's using, using the four of pentacles in that balanced manner. Take the pentacle off your head and see it for what can come. Holding on to what's necessary, letting go of what isn't. Recognizing that holding on to things that are unnecessary causes this. The fighting, the arguing, the pettiness. Internal and external. Seven of Pentacles. This is the advice card. Recognizing how far you've come. Knowing that the knowledge isn't worth a damn unless you're putting it into practice. Unless you look back and you say, wow, there is evidence that what I don't see comes to fruition when I have faith. I've already done the work to recognize that. I just need to continue to recognize it. I need to keep holding on the hope in my heart. So current energy, definitely feeling stuck. There's hope in the heart. This is the balanced energy that spirit wants us to ride with, that keeps us moving through. This possible outcome. What are your wants? What are your needs? Recognizing that you've had all of your needs met and your wants have been met too. So there's nothing that says this isn't going to continue to happen. So you can look around and say, well, it happened before. It's going to continue to happen just this way. Wants and needs. Because unbalanced, where you're just holding on to everything, like it's a life raft, creates this. Look back. Look at the evidence. Your wants and needs have always been met. So projecting into the future the sense of desperation and unfaithfulness is going to continue to get desperate and unfaithfulness. So using that same method, put, you know, that, that faith and that absolute certainty of, I may not see it, but I know it's happened in the past and it will continue to happen for the good, just like it has for the negative, just like it has built up the seeming, the, the world seeming to be so cold. It can build up a warmth, too. So, I just want to get that off that it seems like the collective needs to just kind of hold through with some more faith. Um, it seems a little dry right now. I've had such overwhelming feelings of desperate um, clinging and neediness, and that's only going to get you more of that. Um, and when we want a projection of Christ consciousness into the future, into what it will be like when everyone has that brotherhood, um, Spirit's here. Spirit wants a balanced internal dialogue with yourself that projects all the warmth and hope into the future. Spirit is here with the chariot and the star guard. So keep hope in your heart and spirit will balance you and move you into the future. Keep the faith.